Oh my God, another truckload of stuff. I mean, we're even talking tailgate. It's always hard to figure out where to start with these deals. Well, let's start with the biggest item out, out of all of it. I paid 700 bucks for all of this stuff. And first of all, this is a 1986 TRX 250. No more numbers. This is the old solid suspension or I'm not sure what you would call that swing arm suspension <laughs> wagon train suspension I guess uh, front end and what he did was he put rancher plastic and I believe that's a rancher seat also I don't know that for sure but I think it is it doesn't seem to fit completely properly the shifter is not welded. I'm told the engine runs. He just popped for a brand new carburetor and he popped for a brand new gas tank. And he was frustrated because the valve here, quote, didn't fit, unquote. So I guess it's not, the valve wasn't working for him. Maybe it was leaking by, leaking somehow. Anyway, so it came with the gas tank and that new carburetor. And I think that was about it for this guy. So specifically, he wanted 600 for this thing alone. Um, I gave him 700 for everything. Um, once again, I'm told it runs and it shifts and it needs brake work. Um, he said he used the kickstart to start it. He wouldn't say too much about the electric starter. It does seem to have compression. I probably should have checked that before I, I took it. Um, Plastic actually doesn't fit half bad. If I had a guess from the looks of the exhaust system and everything else, this thing does not have a million miles on it, but it does look like it is It is definitely well-worn. This rack situation obviously came from the rancher, and uh, I really had to tie it backwards because that bumper was threatening my back window. So, okay, we talked about that. I normally don't like to pay any more than 500 for something like this, but hopefully the rest of the deal makes up for it. So supposedly I have 100 bucks left in everything else. And this is the front plastic, and it's really in pretty decent shape. Um, not the prettiest, could use a paint job. Notice how it has this on it, the black trim. Um, I was after that because I got the plastic here and Steve's machine, wherever it's hiding at, could use some plastic. So I, I figured I'd grab the plastic while I could. Normally to get plastic delivered to your house, should you eBay it or whatever, it's gonna cost you um, over a hundred bucks toward 150 with postage and all. Um, for something in that shape, right? You're really stuck with the postage no matter what you mail. So I figured that was well worth joining this other stuff. This is a front bumper for a Warrior. You can see it's a little bit battered, 
I noticed um, I was at Home Depot today for something else that I could buy the ends that go on pipes or whatever protectors so I could cover these up I can kind of pound it back into shape so I can use a couple of warrior bumpers this is my warrior bumper you can see one of the wings is broken off Steve's warrior it's back here somewhere is missing its bumper entirely I did pick up another bumper but between the three of them I should be able to get two good ones which makes me very happy so let's talk about motors for first this uh, China Wonder here um, it's complete minus the stator um, cover I'm told it ran beautifully but it didn't shift um, so I'm not sure if it's stuck in gear if the tranny's completely blown if it's a klutz issue I'm not quite sure what's what's wrong with it but um, I figured I would grab it because I could should I need the head off of it or another piece like that I could get it I believe it's a hundred and ten cc um, I'm not seeing the extra wires that would tell you if it's in neutral or not so it's probably a three-speed no reverse I'm guessing I don't know that normally there's an extra wire here somewhere if it does have a reverse and I don't see that extra wire so hopefully I can take the head the jug the piston the uh, starter flywheel you know hopefully there's some halfway decent parts out of it but that was more or less a throw-in Here's the last piece of the deal. This motor is out of a Honda TRX 200 SX. You guys know I happen to like that motor. The, um, the piston is good here, right? Um, supposedly, this is a good bottom end. Uh, the top was taken off for some other reason. I, the uh, person I got this from said that it was on a frame with the top missing already. So just a little bit, I can check it out, right? The one way clutch, right? Spins one way and uh, grabs the other. Um, the shifter is not messed up. And if you guys are familiar with these, these two are renowned for, um, throwing the chain and destroying the case and that doesn't appear to be the situation and if you look at the bottom of it the oil plug and all that's intact now I have a top end from an engine that I got from I think the guy's name was John upstate a little ways um, I got an engine from him that the oil pump was shot on and it was shot to the point where it's a chain driven oil pump and the shaft actually got wonky and uh, the engine was was destroyed uh, because of that but the top end was still good so I'm hoping to take that top end and put it on this these things here too not that you pay all that much for the engine but typically it costs 50 to 75 bucks to have it shipped right so I've been after a bottom end for a while and I've been finding them but even if you you do a you, you know make a bid and get the engine for for 50 bucks and then it's another 75 bucks to ship it so um, I was really to get happy to get that so when you look at this deal 
what really made me happy about it was I have been after the bottom end of the engine and now I have it and we talked about the numbers this guy here typically you can't find them on eBay because it doesn't even pay to shift them should you find a used head and everything else it's by the time you get it to yourself it's going to cost you 50 bucks anyway these things in this condition that's probably a you know $25 bumper and once again by the time you ship it the gas tank goes with that guy and once again I mentioned the fender not that this fender itself is all that valuable but the problem is by the time you get it shipped to your house and I really wanted the trim work off of it that's what I need it most so I'm uh, happy that I got that now I don't know I'm gonna ask you guys would you have expected to pay somewhere around 700 bucks for this load? I don't know. <laughs> I would have liked to be closer to five than six on this guy. Um, hopefully it's everything he says it is and it doesn't contain any surprises. Same with the motor, right? But that's what it cost. What do you guys think? Did I get a great deal or did I get <laughs> manhandled? Boy, this headlight must work good. <laughs> Facing right into this. Oh, I even got tools. Check it out. Freud. It's an old tool case somebody smashed up there. I would have put it in the back, but that's me. Even the, um, on this guy, it did come with the back lights on the, uh, on the, um, rack. Kind of, you don't always get those. Anyway, so guys, let me know what you're, you're thinking when you look at all this stuff. Can I get a good angle for my, uh, the vanity shot? Yeah, maybe that one. Okay. Guys, I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember, feet down, heads up. Get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now, folks.